Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Last time we unlocked quite a bit of loyalty missions and today is the first episode where we're gonna start doing those. So we need to talk to PB, Cora, and Vetra for their respective loyalty missions. So we're gonna start with PB. Puck, puck, puck. You're gonna be the gateway to so many great things, my friend. Hey there. You named her Puck? Yep. Proof of concept. There we go. Proof to of concept. To distinguish her from Zap, your souped up, nasty combat version. No, that's Remy. Uh, but cool name nonetheless. Zap. I like it. Yeah, it's edgy. The storage box from the vault on Eos was the key to everything, including integrating that piece of rem tech you got me. But our new observer friends are just the beginning. I'm working on something even bigger. Ooh, please do tell me. I'm all ears. So get this. We can only scan for remnant signatures we've already encountered. My scanner's doing that around the clock. But if I integrate the right rem tech, we could scour the cluster for any remnant signature, even ones we don't have. My scanner would literally become a remnant mystery detector. Huh, very exciting, but I don't really know if there are any remnant we haven't discovered yet. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Yeah, don't tell Lexi. She'll look for a cure. <laughs> I came to Andromeda to touch the unknown, to find the never before found. Once I perfect this scanner, it'll do exactly that. All I need is three specific pieces of Remtech. Oh, don't turn Did this do into that? a fetch quest. You? Rock. Pock and Zap think so too. So far, I've located the first piece. It's back on Eos. I'll upload the coordinates. Fine. Okay, that's the start of that quest. Um. It's a bit of a, a bore that it's just a fetch quest, so we need to get three uh, three items. But hey, let's talk to Cora next. Uh, Cora, Cora, where the hell is Cora? She's usually in here. Maybe she's upstairs. Ah, oh, give me a second to look for Cora. Oh, Cora is right here in the vehicle bay. Hello, Cora. Oh, wow, that was close all right. of a sudden. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Okay, are you ready for this? Remember the survey ship. This might not be pretty. Are you? Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they can't do. Okay, that's a tough job, but that was apparently it. Okay, kick that off and then we'll talk to Vetra because she has uh, troubles with her sister, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Ryder, got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally, I've been waiting for hours. Busy so people. So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. Uh, missing? What do you mean they're missing? They didn't leave voluntarily. No work assignments, no mining expeditions, kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. Okay. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. Okay, don't don't fight now. Um I trust her. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a pathfinder. Okay, Sid, guys. Just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> You know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. Krogan beer? That's awfully good. specific. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was a weird... That was... Vetra gave me a really weird look just now. Um, So I think the first one we're gonna do is go check up on the Asari Ark, because I feel like that's gonna do the most for us. So, uh, give me a second and we'll head towards those coordinates. Not many signals out here. Even that random radio noise we get from the Scourge is quieter. Eerie. So a very quiet system apparently where we need to go. And only um, on sensors. 
Okay, let's check out the anomaly then, because that's probably where we're gonna need to go. Probe launched. This is Cora's nav point. Arc Lucinia. Uh, yes. So I'm taking Cora Her and uh, PB. Cora found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with the sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. Let's be positive, I would say. Focus on how we can help them. Good call. Help Asari, piss off the cat. Very cathartic. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned, you still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Okay, coming our way, or...? That looks like Reading another big ship. Signs and minimal power, multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. But at least she's intact. If she's spaceworthy and her crew's alive, that's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together. Hopefully we don't get shot before we get there. And I don't think that ship on its own has weapons, so... If anybody else took over, it wouldn't be that much of a problem for now. Until we get on board, that is. Reach the bridge. We're aboard. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. Hello, uh, no, so this looks similar, of course. No one sweeps up for guests anymore. <laughs> and that's why PB is along. For the, Hello? the comical Anyone? mode. We're here to help. Great. Just advertise where we are. Yep. That's indeed. the point, PB. Yeah, but it's clear that something went wrong. Oh, okay. Die, you cat monsters. We're not cat. We're a Pathfinder team. Ryder, Lieutenant Harper, and Sam, just send her our ident codes. Confirmed. Sorry. I'm Captain Atondra of what's left of the Lucinia. Okay. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. Hello? Someone's jumpy. Captain Atondra. And I do love that everybody just calls him Cat. Because they haven't heard about anybody else before. Combat action. No bodies, oh, data pad? Whatever. Critical damage report, okay, yeah. Happened left the captain a little trigger happy. If the tempest looked like this, how would you feel? Uh there was something else over here as well. Ocean key systems critically understaffed. Advice against civilian stasis revival. Families first. Sam immediately pathfinder, okay. So there was a bit of communication. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it. Let's head to the bridge and see what we can find out. It's weird to walk around in an environment like this and uh, have my suit cap capabilities available to me. Jumping around and stuff, because usually you can't even jump in uh, open areas. But you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. Hello, Sarissa. <clears throat> Hi. Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain, scolding me east of oh, blood pressure. Oh, Pathfinder, so that means the original Pathfinder is dead. Cora here thought the famous Sarissa would have everything in hand. <laughs> I thought Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder, ma'am, and you were her bodyguard, like her Tiamna. I served with the Sari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my arc. Okay, give me the facts. What happened? Why are the cat after you? Matriarch Ashara died trying to negotiate with those cat bastards, so I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data, all their secret routes through this phenomenon. The Scourge. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it, that would we'd be stand awesome. a better chance against them. Their Archon had the same thought. 
He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things problematic. Stealing the data was stupid or she did a job. Well, are they still get on board? How many borders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Well, she did her job. Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I've taken my share. Goddess, preserve me. What would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the drive core, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. First rule, always know your escape plan. The last commando report came from hangar control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. Okay. Sounds like uh, a bit of a tough fight coming on. Okay, they're standing there pretty silently, so let's take the tram. Okay, ride the you tram okay, to uh, hangar control, okay? Pathfinders take risks. They really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father. We roll the dice and... Hey, sometimes we win. Come on, the sooner we find those commandos, the better. Yes, indeed, because... We need to kill those, uh... Oh! Those cats before they become even more of a problem. Because if they sabotage the ship entirely, then we're going to have a bit of a bigger problem. Because we can't forget that there's a lot of... Uh, was it this quiet a sorry in uh, cryo space? sleep quieter they weren't busted up back then the loose ergonomic adjustments blah 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 okay never mind we'll be back to normal once we get her to the nexus okay that is right but we need to get it there in one Here piece hangar control are there any enemies cuz there's armor boxes Lots of uh, waist high cover. Hey, look, we might have a friend. Vidaria. Stop! In the name of the goddess, I'll take it easy, buddy. Shoot your rescuers. Rescuers and humans. Your Ark made it. Just about. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. This is my team. I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second in command. Sorry about the mix-up. I hope I can help. Everybody starts by almost shooting us or venting us out into space. So the Ark needs power. The captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Right. Yes. I've tracked the power drain and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. The cat forced the doors open and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Okay, Sam can help us there. Don't worry. My Sam can probably override whatever the cat did. Ket can survive in vacuum for a little while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL, I just... What? What? Why did you stop talking? Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. Okay, so the console you were working on, or no? Okay, a bit further. Hangar controls. Starting hangar door closure sequence. Oh yeah, this this gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. Cover the console while Sam works. Nice steady fire. Yes, ma'am. Terminal active. Remain in range. Console online. Stay within its radius. What? Stay within its... Oh, fuck you. I need to stay over there. activated. You'll need to stay in range. So that's one down. Hangar door closure at 21 percent. Uh, 
For now it's only normal cat, so it's not that big of a problem. I'm gonna have to go for ammo every once every while. Just gonna try and take advantage of that. Hangar door closure at 53%. We have Sarissa along as well, so that's an extra set of powers. Yeah, bye. Hangar door closure at 77%. Oh my god, it's a flying animal. Hangar doors are closed and locked. Cat access is cut off. Okay, that's good. Now we need to kill whatever's left here. Okay, that should have done it. Okay then. So where's our damn power for FTL? The Daria? Let's ask her. Uh, Fidaria is running away for the moment. What was that? I estimate that several of the arc's electrical junctions just overloaded. Okay then. Fidaria? Fidaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, indeed. Calm, soldier, but it did. What could have made him overload? If... If there's something else draining power on the lower decks, as something big... It probably is cat sabotage, as I suspected before. Maybe the decimation hunters rigged something up. I wouldn't put it past those wretches. Those cats. They must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. Then, uh, let's be fast. If we're quick and efficient, we can outmaneuver them. Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, look for whatever's draining power, and maybe help with the fire. Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Okay, Good sounds luck. like a plan. May the cat wither in the void before you. Okay, that was a weird sentence, but never mind. Never you mind. Goodbye. So now we're... Would say alone again? Seems like it. Ryder, it's Sarissa. We got some power, then a damage report. What happened? An accident. We're fixing it. All right, go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't there we go. Down. Dropping down. Of course not, Lieutenant. Sirissa out. Uh, of course not. Okay then. Here we go through the door. Oh, this looks like enemies. Uh, it's pitch black down here. Watch your step. So that door is clearly broken. We can't go over there, so we're gonna have to go through here. With Remy the Sparker. What the hell? This is starting to look like a horror game. That's What's a lot this? of thermal clips. The nameplate says Matriarch Ishara, the Pathfinder who died. That is a weird shrine to her. Maverick Ambusher armor, thank you. Did you know Matriarch Ishara? Only by reputation. She was a diplomat, very wise and respected, and the cat took her away. Oh, it must be eating Sarissa up inside. Badiri here. I'm almost at the stasis pod. Jesus. Ah, blasted. No power for elevators. Vidaria, cut the elevator's mag locks. If the arc's like ours, you can climb down the shaft. Good idea. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, another data pad in this kitchen. I don't know. This holographic coloring book is set to a simple image of a farm. My farm plant seeds watering. Uh, okay. So it's a chil children were on board this ark as well. Another container with omni child canisters. Childcare rotation. Forward to anyone not on the main list. But alas, I can't take the twins and Mohia tonight. We're camped by the emergency lighting, so Mohia will have her night light. Because the Tukhastis and Zali got called for evac early. There's leftover cleanup supplies and food in the red cooler. Remember, if you need diaper bags, there's sterile cleanups, cleanup bags in the washroom cabinets. Break the locks if you have to. 
Day 10, still going strong. Oh, and there was something else. Uh, goodbyes. Making the big jump soon, leaving all my love and best wishes. Go ahead and share out my stasis locker. Can't take it, can't worry about it. We'll find help, promise. Okay. So that's, I think, when they left with this uh, arc. Not when everything went to shit over here. Anything around here? So many people crammed in, waiting, hearing the emergency alarms. The cat did that to them. Okay, so I might be wrong. But the last time, I'm not shutting up, I went to sleep dreaming of new worlds and woke to fire and screaming and people huddled in dormitories. And they won't let us back into stasis. We're supposed to just crash land on a barren planet in some teeny escape pod like that's going to be better. I want what was promised, what I gave them my money and my life for, and I'm not going to stop trying to get answers. Okay, so people were understandably mad, but not that anybody else could do anything about that. Okay. There we go. Really hope these things got aboard after the children left. I hope so too. Because that would have been a bit weird. Okay, moving on. Uh, I don't really want to use the sniper rifle too much. Did we go over here? What are they doing here? What were they up to? Looking for a nicer room? Good luck, buddy. That was weird. What the hell was that all about? Ooh. A hornet and a pistol barrel. That was a nice bit of loot. Moving. Okay, so that was. That's because this was kind of a side area. We need to go over here. Okay. Health and supplies. Fideria again. Two cat were trying to mess with the stasis pods. Not anymore. Good work. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Stay low. I will. The pods are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. The complaining about the uh, Sarissa's manuals are get is getting a bit old, but. Okay, fire. Looks bad. Why isn't the fire suppression system engaged? Either insufficient power or the explosion damaged fire control. We could fix that if we find the controls. And then reach whatever's draining power without getting singed. So, fire controls. It's Daria. The cat saw me. I am trapped in an air vent. Ready your biotics and pick them off as they pass. But they'll hear. You're a huntress. A silent predator. Okay. Going silent. There we go, that's one. Oh, there's another animal. Oh, that's a problem. There we go, that's the predestined down. Ooh, that was pretty fast, actually. Yeah, light them up. There we go. Remy's doing a bang up job. There we go. There we go. Taken care of or rather quickly. After the fire suppression controls. Over there. Over there, okay. Anything leave anything behind? Thank you for that. Let's swap the Get camera the around controls. again. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to be faster. Sorry, Cora. Fire suppression. Oh <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's right. Ironic. The electrical junction is damaged. I recommend searching for an alternative. Oh shit. What was that noise? Something kind of exploded. Can't see a way to fix it. Any luck, Ryder? Oh. Yeah, over there. There's a panel I can access. 
There we go. Whatever this power is, the arc needs fire control more. There. Let's try again. Three, two, one. Let's try again and activate the fire suppression system. There we go. That should cool us off. Videri again. I got the ket. They got me back, but I'm okay. Nice work. And with the hangar shut, I managed to track the real power drain. Here's the nav point. I'll see you there. Okay, that was a kind of a weird zoom in. Maybe she was in the wall somewhere. I don't know. Um, now that we we've taken out the fire, it might be a good time to take a little break. So uh, we're warming up the drive. I'll let her talk. We need more juice. We're on it, Captain. Good. The Valiant ship is still out there somewhere. We've lost so many, and Matriarch Ashara. It can't be for nothing. So I'm gonna take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're gonna try and get this Asari arc out of here. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye!